Okay, in this presentation we're going to look at using Jupyter Notebooks for Julia. Now, just before I begin, uh, just to start to say that the, the Jupyter Notebooks come from the Python ecosystem. And essentially all the critical installation stuff is will come from that sort of side of things. And I'm not doing this that sort of stuff in this video, partly because each different operating system has a different approach and so on. So essentially... The point I'm picking up is when we get to the command line interface for Julia. Okay, now I also, I realize that this might be a little bit hard to read. So what I'm going to do is that everything I type into Julia here is written down here. Okay, so what we would do firstly, and I have this step done already, but I want to install the package manager. Or actually, I might, I might sort of go using, I actually, in addition, I should sort of say using package manager okay and then add iJulia so that would install for a minute okay so this is an important step to from starting with the command line interface to uh, get get help things get started okay now so I have that done already I run the, I've run that those two lines of command previously so I have that all set up so what I'm going to do is actually just double check that I have it installed there I'm going to write type in that capital P K G installed and give that a second there now so I have it there I actually installed it quite recently so I am ready to go so everything is good so far so I got down here okay now I want to set up my uh, set things up so I can use a Julia notebook a Jupyter notebook for Julia so using and watch the capital letters, capital I, capital J. Okay. Now that's just going to take a second there. And then I type in notebook. Now I might pause the video for a second just so I can uh, keep it nice and tidy. Essentially what happens here is that runs. Okay. And actually this pops up here. Okay. So this is actually my uh, folders, my file directory and so on. Okay. So uh, I'm not going to really explain what's going on there, but essentially if I want to set up a new Julia notebook, uh, I'll just go here, Julia notebooks, and just walk into this folder here. And I actually have set a few of them up already. I might use those again. But what I will do here is actually, let's make that a bit bigger and easier to read because we're not stuck with the small font size anymore, okay? So what I go do is I go over here and click new, okay? And you should see Julia, no, uh, when I click on notebook or new, and up at the top, you should see Julia. The most recent version for me is Julia 1.1, so I'm going to click on that. And I, again, as I said before, this sort of really comes with the Python ecosystem, so Python will, should be there as well, okay? There we go, click on that, and let's just type in something here. Using, now this is a, a package I have installed already. Let's just run that. There we go. Just take a second here. Partly because, you know, when you're actually running screencasting software like I'm using at the same time, it actually slows down your computer a lot. But anyway, we're good to go. That's going to work in a second and then we will be able to move on. I feel like I just sort of should... Hold on, just so you, uh, so it doesn't crash or something like that, you know. I shouldn't have picked that one. There we go, it's working now. All right, good stuff. Thank you very much.